Hey, Shalom. It's your brother, Dan Allah. With a breakdown through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. First and foremost, I'm going to give double honors to the elders over at Great Millstone and salutations to the brothers and sisters that's laboring in this truth. All right. And um, as you see, I got a couple of precepts pulled up. And, uh, you know, this is pretty much going in on um, enduring as a uh, enduring hardness as a soldier of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? And, um, you know, when you do these lessons, you got to cut yourself up sometimes. All right? Because, you know, we fall off short at times. And when you fall short, you got to be able to repent, man. All right? And, and, and to to get it right and to walk that narrow line, man. All right? Like the scripture say, a wise man falls short, but he gets back up. But when you get back up, you got to be able to endure. All right? There's no more excuses for people, even myself, man. We can't, you know, you can't keep making up excuses, man. All right, so this is the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 6. For who the Lord loveth, he chastiseth. So when we come into this, when we, in, 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 you know, when we, during this walk and we preaching this truth, keeping the commandments and keeping the faith, you be chastised, man. How do the Lord chastise you? He chastised you through your, you know, the lusts of this world, family. All right, there's many things that the Lord sends Satan after you with, man. All right, and many brothers are able to endure. There's certain things that brothers may fall short at. And one of my shortcomings would be women, man. Or, you know, uh, you know, Financial situations, man. All right? Because at times you, you know, when you're going through it, Satan play on your mind, man. And he makes you believe, you know, that this is the way you should go. You should, you know, work more or do X, Y, and Z to make more money. All right, you could, your household could be catching hell, and as you being a man, you feel like you gotta, you know, do what you gotta do to provide. But sometimes we gotta remember, man. All right, long as we going, long as we doing the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, he's gonna provide, man. And actually, you know, and I can say this, I'll say this through my own testimony that. Um, when you think you can handle things on your own, the most high is going to make it worse for you, man. All right? You'll go from being behind on bills, catching hell by your woman, to not having no home, man. To not having no woman, man. All right? You'll become a mockery too, man. You'll be out there teaching the scriptures, all right? And if you're not focused, and like I said, you let these things... Uh, take you off that path, you'll become a mockery because everyone see you out here teaching. And now you double back and trying to catch up with, uh, 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 you know, normal things in life. And it's, it, to the public, it looks like you've put, you know, your garment down, man. And you ain't being faithful to the Lord. So these are things that I can attest to, man. All right, but my faith is still there. I still believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, and I, you know, I just had to go back, look at some videos. All right, spend obsessive time just watching the elders, just watching brothers bring it out. All right, separating yourself from other things, man. Even if you got to, you know, skip town, man. Even if you got to, you know, get your own pad. To get focused, you gotta do what you gotta do for your how about you know, shy, because when you start thinking about 
you know, how the Lord got up there on the cross, man, and the lashes and the pain and suffering he went through for us, man, you would think yourself to be soft because all he asks of us is not to turn back, man, not to, not to, not to you know, uh, fall, you know, to be constantly in sin, man. Yeah, we are real human beings, and, you know, sometimes we, we make mistakes, and that's what we got grace for, but we can't live that way, man. Right? So let's continue. It says, For whom the Lord loveth, he chastiseth and scorneth every son whom he receiveth. So we're going to catch hell, man. All right? But you got to stand up and, and be a soldier, man, for your how about some y'all shite, because he was a soldier for you. All right? Proverbs, so this is the way we repay you, how about Shem Yahushah? Proverbs 10 and 17. He is, it's like it, he is in the way of life that keepeth instruction. But he that refuseth reproof erreth. So once you've been given, all right, a taste of the bread of your how about Shem Yahushah, all right, and you decide to refuse this reproof, you're going to err. All right? Things aren't going to get better. You don't, you know, like I said, you're not going to be able to handle things on your own. You need the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right? 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3. Thou, Salakia, though therefore endure of hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Enduring hardness, man. All right. Standing in the test of time, man. All right. And keeping the faith. Enduring hardness, man. Not, you know, not stopping, man. All right. We got to, this ain't a, 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 turtle, a, a, a rabbit turtle race. All right. This thing is a marathon. Okay, and like I said, I speak for myself, man. Right, chapter four: No man that will work that worth entangle with himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who has chosen him to be a soldier. Right. Don't get caught up, man, into this world. All right, don't go back to your old ways, shooting dice, smoking cigarettes. All right, back to the old lifestyle that you, you know, hanging around demons, man. All right, being brutish out here. You entangling your, your affairs. Salakia, you, you entangling yourself with the affairs of this life. All right, the spirit is going to leave you, man. All right. And I've been there. I've sat there, and 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 stopped teaching before, man. I've been there, to where I've been around others, even though I I, I feel like I ain't ever lost the, the spirit, but your mind, you'll be, you know, scriptures will be coming up in your head when you see things go on when you evolved in this world, man. When you entangling yourself with this world, all right. And then you'll figure out ain't no other way but the Lord. If you got common sense, man. Ain't no other way this thing is blood in and blood out. Everything leads back to this, man. Right? Matthew chapter 24, verse 13. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. So we got to endure to the end, man. That's why I commend brothers and sisters that keep pushing towards the mark, man. Not stopping by any means necessary. All right, everybody got their own walk and their own lot and their own testimony. But I admire those brothers. No matter what they go through, no matter what they've been through. All right, they're not stopping for your how about Shimmy I was shot, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Luke chapter 14, verse 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father, his mother, his wife, his children, his brethren, his sisters, yea, in his own life also, right? You're supposed to detest these people, man. That's what that word hate mean. 
not to literally hate them to the point where you despise or want to kill them, but to not put them to 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 love them less, man. All right, you're not you're supposed to love these people less because your how about shimmy is put is to be put first, man. All right. He cannot be my disciple. You can't love these people more than Yahweh Shah. Even though you, you know, you being a man, you feel like you got to take certain measures and do certain things to pr provide. But I'm here to tell you that you can't do it on your own, man. All you can do is pray, man, and keep the faith. And if the Lord blessed you with a nine to five, all right, keep pushing, man. The Lord gave you a nice house. Keep pushing. Because as long as you serving him, he's going to put that hedge around your household. Things going to get higher because they're supposed to. All right? But don't try to handle things on your own, man. Keep your how about Shem Yahweh Shai in your corner, man. When you wake up, pray to the Lord first. All right? Stay in the spirit. For which of you... So lucky, like this is twin, the 28th verse. For which of you intending to build a tower sitteth not down first and counteth the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it? So in other words, you don't want to, you know, get in, involved into this thing, man, and, 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 and stop and forget about this, man. You want to keep building that tower. All right, you don't want to build a house in your house by Shem Yahweh Shai. And then you have to come back and mow the lawn. And the house is, you know, falling apart. You have to build back up, man. All right. Less happy after he has laid his foundation and is not able to finish all that. Be behold, it begins to mock him. Like I said, the world and the brothers begin to mock you. All right, because you was out here teaching the scriptures and you turned back, man. All right. This is Second Peter, chapter two, verse 21. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandments delivered unto him to them. Right. It was better that they didn't even know to turn to do, to to start doing it, start keeping the commandments and having the faith, all right, and then stop. Now, even though I've stopped teaching, I have not kept. I feel like I still got the faith. I know I got faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and I haven't ever stopped keeping the commandments. But that is an excuse not to do the work either, right? In a sec, in the next verse, I'll break this down. But it is happened unto them according to the true proverb, the dog is turned into his own vomit again. All right? Because a dog will eat his own throw up. And when you leave this truth and go back into the world, that's what you're doing. Going back to that old man. And, and the soul that was washed to her wallowing in the mirror. All right. So this is Sirach chapter 14, verse 11. My son, according to thy ability to do good to thyself and give the Lord his due offering. Right. Doing good to thyself is what? Keeping the law, statutes, and commandments and the faith, man. All right. Mainly the faith. You can't lose faith in this thing, man. And the way we, you know, you really do show your faith is by doing the work because faith without works is dead, man. All right. 14 and 2, right? It says, remember that death will not be long in coming and that the covenant of the grave is not showed unto thee. Do good unto thy friend before thy die. And according to thy ability, stretch out thy hand and give to him. Defraud not thyself of the good day and let not the part of a good desire overpass thee. Right? This is a good desire. Let not this overpass thee. And again, I'm chopping. I'm cutting myself up, man. 
All right? Because you got to admit these things, all right? You got to be real with yourself. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. Right? And we just ask for forgiveness and mercy, man. And to be able to keep that spirit on you. All right? Verse 15. Shall thou not leave thy travails unto another? And thy labors to be divided by lot. Right. That's what we will be doing. Leaving your labors divided by lot. When you stop, you know, doing the work of your how about Shimmy I was shy. Because keeping us, you know, keeping the work is just as much as important as keeping the faith. Because one is peanut butter and jelly, man. One without the other. No good. All right, so with that, I hope it was edifying. All right, and until next time, shalom.